Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pyrome Gaming Explain Time! In the previous episode I explained my motives behind the stuff that Guitar Men criticised about me regarding my so-called INACCURATE DRAG PERFORMANCE TESTS! If you want to watch that video as well as its response there's a link in the description below so uh, yeah check those out whenever you can. But in this video I'm going to be explaining... What even happened with Pyrome? I, I get that he got some bomb wrong which is obviously a massive deal in life but <laughs> the cluster bombs are in fact more powerful man Pyrome gaming so oh sh wrong video okay so there's this little situation regarding a video about the different bomb types that one can equip in the smugglers run dlc planes long story short people are saying that I made a mistake. The mistake in question is that I apparently said that the standard bombs are more powerful than the cluster bombs, which isn't true, I agree, but I didn't actually say that. If you watch the entire video, I do not at any time say that the standard bomb is more powerful than the cluster bomb. What I do say, however, through the use of on-screen text albeit, is that the damage is negotiable, meaning that the amount of damage that each bomb could deal is either less or more than that of a standard bomb due to the cluster effect, which I have problems with. I'll get back to you on that shortly. Just to put the nail in the coffin, here's some footage of me blowing up an insurgent pickup both with standard and cluster bombs. You'll clearly see that I use less cluster bombs than I did standard to blow it up. Since there's pretty much no difference compared to standard bombs, except maybe a little extra damage against armoured vehicles. Note that I said maybe in that sentence. That's because the damage was negotiable and not solid like what you get on any other explosive in GTA Online. I'm not done yet however as there's one major issue that I have with cluster bombs in GTA. Here's what a cluster bomb strike looks like in real life. And here's GTA. I think most of you will agree that there's something wrong here. In the original video where I test the bombs out, I state that there's pretty much no difference between the standard explosive and the cluster bomb. Well, for those of you who are in doubt, here's some slow motion footage of the explosions. The only difference between the two is that the cluster bomb explosion looks more like a sparkler. Those little explosions that you have seen on the cluster bomb explosion are similar to that of an explosive round from a Hydra or from an explosive sniper rifle round, which is what I hypothesize causes the extra damage. The initial explosion of the cluster bomb isn't as powerful, but the addition of the extra mini explosions adds to that damage, making the cluster bomb more powerful. But that's only if any of this actually hits you. Another thing that I said about cluster bombs is that you have to be much more accurate with these than standard explosives. Look here, you'll see a standard explosion take out this guy who's just a few meters away, no problem. But then we look here at this slow-mo cluster bomb footage and this dude just straight out tanks that sucker like nothing ever happened. And look how close he was. And no, he wasn't in the same MC or anything as the person dropping the bombs. He was fully vulnerable to this attack. Look here, also this car. Look how close it is. Even if the driver of said car was in the same MC, which they weren't, the car would have still blown up and look how close the explosion was to the car. It does absolutely nothing. If you're still not satisfied, have a listen to what my test subjects had to say when they were in the line of fire. This is a raw recording of when I was testing out the bombs in the original video. Watch really? Are you guys talking about your Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, I didn't even kill me. Uh oh. The bombs suck! <laughs> I won! <laughs> the bombs right, suck! Um, guys, um. Oh, okay, that was I still survived! Huh? Okay, those bombs suck. Oh no. Oh, no. oh fuck. I survived! He got four kills because he dropped a bomb right on one of the cars that blew up like I said it would. <laughs> Free money. How am I not dead? So you can clearly see that the cluster bombs are not all what they're all cracked up to be. They're actually very disappointing, which is why I didn't recommend them in my original video. When I was editing that video, I used both the footage in Rockstar Editor as well as the feedback from my test subjects to get an effective conclusion as to the performance of the bombs. Now again, I appreciate that everyone wants me to improve on my videos that I output to the channel. That's fantastic, there's people out there that actually care for me. Especially this guy. Pyron, stay creative, baby. Hold your head up and don't let it warm it up. Small the f 
suckers who are sold together. But my words of wisdom from me to you in this video shall be a YouTube channel is not made successful by the content creator alone. It is the symbiotic relationship between the content creator and the viewers which dictate whether or not a channel is successful or not. So far, Pyrone Gaming has done well. I think a lot of you will agree. But to those of you who are always up my arse saying that something's wrong or inaccurate, how about you actually tell me what's wrong and then we can work from there? I do check the comments section a lot and I'd really appreciate it if you guys do your part and offer some constructive feedback rather than just saying, inaccurate, cringy, Mr. Boss is better. Okay, I made that last one up, but you get the point by now, I hope. In any case, I look forward to seeing you in the comment section in future videos, and I shall bid you all farewell.